In the center of the great house outside is what I call the heart of the community, the heart of the activity, and that's the great kiva behind me. Earl Morris had become very interested in all the artifacts and the sites around the Southwest. He came back to restore the Great Kiva. The pillars very much represent the mountains that are the boundaries of their sacred landscape. So the four directions, the four pillars, the four uh, mountains, something that was defining the people because the landscape, the land they farmed, the place they lived here was very much part of who they were, part of their language and part of what they New. At the base of the pillars, you'll see that there are four limestone discs are probably representing the lower worlds, the place of their origins as they traveled and came into the world here where they built the site. In the center of the floor, you will see the um, firebox. That is something that defines these great houses. So a central fire where people would have stayed warm. One of the key features of great kivas are the foot drums. They found that, that there were wooden planks that were laid across. The sound it must have made if those first people danced on those wooden planks or sat around and pounded on those, similar to drums. The roof was rebuilt by Morris. The first roof had been burned. So what you see up there is not original ceiling. One room that's on a north-south access. It's set aside, it's definitely bigger than the other ones because it is encircled by several rooms. And this one must have started out as something very special because it does have some key features, such as an altar here. So it has been called the altar room. It's also been called the antechamber because it's the first building room that you walk into. The altar representing maybe the sun or the moon. You can see the design pattern. Morris excavated uh, into, into the floor of the individual rooms as to whether or not it was representing the different clans in the past, whether or not it was for storage. Some people have proposed that maybe it was Kachina Society and some of the masked dancers in the rooms. And one gentleman did share with us that it wouldn't be for people at all. It was actually here for the ancestors. So they were here in spirit, keeping this place very much alive and as a memory and as a reminder of the stories, the origins, all of that being passed down before the ceremonies begin and shared with one generation after the other through time and still doing that today at the Pueblos.